I started music at the age of, I guess, seven or eight years old. Uh, but since I was a kid, my mom always told me that I always sing with the with the with the broom or with the um, not a broom, actually, you know. I, Anything I pick up in the foot can be a pencil, it can be a pen. I've always used it, you know, as a microphone to sing with. So at the age of seven or eight, I start singing in the youth um, choir. From the youth choir, you know, we all started in church. From there, you know, that's where I've actually, you know, felt more in love with my music. From church, um, we moved to U.S. and I've always started in the church. And I guess that's where I started my um, my whole singing until now, where I am right now. What motivates me to be an artist, it's, I guess it's something that, well, it's something I was born with, you know what I'm saying? It's not something that I have to force to do, it's something that's within me, you know what I'm saying? It's in me, it's something that I love, and I don't know, I guess I was born with the talent, with the gift, you know, I can say that. Okay, um, so it's me, it's... It's a lot. It can be essentially life. Life. I'm a lover person. I like love music. So I have, you know, I love a lot of so love songs. Um, it can be my personal life. It can be life of my friends. It can be whatever's going on in the world. It can be things that we see. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot to 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 say if I have to respond to your question. Uh, pretty much life in general. That's where I get my inspiration from. Life. From everyday life, you know, friends and story that we hear, things that we see, you know, or story that happen in our life. Um, I guess, yeah, it comes from that. Um, my style of music, I'm more into, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I'm a lover person. So I like, I'm into R&B. I like to sing. I like to to show my passion in through my singing. You know what I'm saying? To show my the pain I have in my heart through singing. Um, I can say R&B, Afrobeat, but more of an R&B and hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, for for me, I grew up listening to lots of American songs because I live in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? So my songs, I grew up listening to a lot of gospel songs. I mean, we're talking about the R&B music, R&B, hip hop, and um, you know, pop and all that stuff. So I'm more into R&B, jazz. Um, I study music in school, so it was more into R&B and all that stuff. So pretty much, I don't know, I guess just what my voice can do, you know, something like that. I, I don't know, I guess. Yeah. To be honest with you, it was not, it was not easy to be where I am today. Coming from Christian music to world song what they call secular music it's not easy I start doing Christian songs um, or gospel music when I was you know like my 17 or, or 13 or 17 year old I don't remember the age well it wasn't easy um, but before I start doing like word song I took about four or five years in between just to think about what to do next it wasn't easy I did lost a lot of you know fans of course um, it wasn't easy but here I am today. Um, um, well, for the song I've released so far, I'm very happy with them. I'm really happy with the choice of music that I've chose to sing. Um, the style of the music I've done, because I, um, I have a very beautiful voice. I can sing anything, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much for what I have released so far, I love it. You know, we have, we have R&B, we have, uh, I guess, Zouk. On a vraiment plusieurs, uh, j'ai quand même chanté plusieurs, uh, tu vois, non, style de musique that I'm happy with it. So far, so good, yeah. So, someone like me, I really don't use a lot of cursing songs in my music. I don't, I, I really do have a respect for women, respect for people in general, because my background is Christian, my background is church. So, um, growing up with that, um, I've always wanted to sing grown people music. When you listen to the lyrics of my songs, it's lyrics that make sense. It's lyrics that you never know what people are going through. You won't see me in my song singing, you know, beach, mother, if I don't do that. Maybe a little bit into my song. So like my 
writing it's usually simple but with a meaning to it you know what I'm saying so yeah I guess I answered your question right um it's a lot I have a lot as a matter of fact right now I'm working on my EP for the new my new um, coming up project um, it's a lot but for example me I live in the US you know what I'm saying and I live in the US speaking about three four five languages it's it's a little bit hard because I have always to come here back home and trying to promote my music and trying to get to know I just start this um, worldly career music it's not easy but we get in there gradually so I know I'll, I'll, I'll get to where I'm going to but as right now we fight to get to where I'm, I have to be Um, on a, je pense, on a, oh, Limbisa, um, non, 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 Sexy Mama, um, Limbisa, Shake It, um, Tu Me Manque, and Bala Bala, like, j'ai cinq, five. Um, the last song that I did was Bala Bala, feature fellow, um, yeah, a, a few months ago. Balabar is all talking about street, you know what I'm saying? Street life. Um, you know what I'm saying? What goes on, what goes what goes around in the street. Um, it's it's fun songs. So it's fun songs, it's there's there's, there's, there's little French, there's Bengala, you know, there's a mixture of everything. It's it's a beautiful song, it's it's catchy songs, it's all fun songs. So <laughs> we I want you to listen to it and then you know what I'm talking about. So in reality, people, now these days, people, people cheat. You know, people cheat, les gens volent, les gens achètent des streaming. So it's so hard to know, especially in, in Africa, in, especially here in Congo. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people don't have a bank account. It's not even when c'est pas tout le monde qui ont le, you know, carte bancaire pour acheter des trucs sur uh, iTunes, Spotify, all these, you know, um, music platforms. So um, it's a little bit hard. Like, for example, whenever I come to do music in, in Congo, I come because I'm trying to get known. I'm trying people to know who I am, people to fall in love with my music. I don't really look much into streaming because you know what I'm saying? Because I know there's few people, of course, that know how to buy music on, online, but then it's not everyone that can also afford or buy music online. We have a YouTube, people can get stuff for free. You know, we have a lot of seats that people can get free music. So it's 50-50, you know, game. But like I put more effort into US. But like for me right now, personally, I'm, I'm focused more into, into Congo. You know what I'm saying? This is my home. And once my name is out there, and then we will talk more about the streaming. Um, actually, so when I came last year in, in the DRC, to, I came to, I've already had a song that I've done before. I have like maybe a few songs that I've recorded. Um, actually, we came to work on that. And when I came and, and the, the, someone told me about Philo. Philo? Or Philo? Philo. Uh, he's a rapper. So um, actually, I, I love his, 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 his vibe. I like his voice. And then um, the guy I worked with back then, um, my music producer, he was like, yeah, yeah, I got, a, I got a nice beat for you. And I think this beat with fellow is going to work pretty well. And I'm like, I agree. It's not, it's not the type of music I do. You know, I'm more into r and I'm more into, into rhythm and blue, you know, um, pop music, stuff like that. So then they brought the beat into my apartment. I'm like, yeah, this is cool. So then I went ahead and put my vocals, you know, lay my vocal down. And then um, we sent it to him and he liked it. He went to the studio and then we both, you know, fixed the song. And that's how, it, that's how the song came. So that's how we create Bala Bala. It happened so fast, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's beautiful. It's not easy to do collaboration songs with people here in, in DRC, man. Um, it's a lot to say about that, you know, it's, it's a lot to say about that. Um, first of all, in the U.S., 
we don't hear, we don't listen to any music that comes from, from here. Si on parle peut-être des radios, ça se joue pas. On joue pas de la musique congolais ou dans, dans nos radios en fait parce que it's nothing but English stuff. Un peu de Naja, you know, Nigerian music here and there that we listen to. It's not every music. So if you want to listen to like Congolese music, you have to go to a Congolese party, you have to go to Congolese wedding, anything, you know, any celebration with an African, um, that's where you can listen to our music. You know what I'm saying? But um, so I was saying, you know, like it all depends on the DJs. For an example, I've, you know, been in so many places, so many, you know, lunch bars, clubs here in Kinshasa. If you get there, I've listened to the songs, like, 80% of the songs they play is songs from outside. They play Nigerian songs, they play American songs, and 10% of the songs they play is songs from people from Congo. How would you want us, how do, you, how do you guys want us to promote our songs if you guys don't play our music? But if you go to Nigeria, in the club, it's nothing but Nigerian music. They know how to promote their artists. That's one thing I would just ask to our DJs in the radio station here in, in DRC, promote, please promote our artists, promote us, you know? Aide nous, jouer nos musiques, laissez jouer, ne jouez pas vos musiques des, des gens de dehors du Congo en fait, on peut jouer mais support more of our people, you know, let's support each other so our music can go up. And then, maybe 20% outside of music and 70% music from people from this country. I think we need to do that so we can promote, there's a lot of great singers, there's a lot of upcoming up artists that need to be heard. And most of the time we don't hear them unless if you go on YouTube to listen to the music. I guess I say a lot, but it's a, um, an honest I guess, response. To be honest, I like everyone. I like great music, you know. I like good music. As long as it sounds good in my ear, I will listen to it. Because I can wake up in the morning and say, today I want to play Kofiolo Mide. I can wake up the next day, today I want to play Ferry. I can wake up tomorrow, I want to play Fali Pupa, I want to play Eno so I want to play this. So I don't have like favorite artists, I just love great music. And I love all of our artists. I guess that's a fair answer. Um, I think an artist, uh, Congolais ou un artiste Congolais. Congolais. Um, bon, et tout ça, surtout nos grands, you know, our fathers, nos papas, hein? Kofi Olomide, Fali Poupa, Ferré, Jibem Piana, et tous, en fait. Bon, j'ai pas de préférence, je pense que chacun a son, you know, his best side of it. I can do a song with Fali Pupa today, and tomorrow I can do a song with uh, Kofi Olomide, or I can do a song with Ferris. So each one has a different voice, and then different voice sound different on the music. They are welcome to do music with them. Um, first of all, I have to say they have to go to school. So whenever I mean go to school, it's not always are you having a your PhD or your whatever, whatever, whatever. At least have a, a knowledge of be able to read. You know what I'm saying? Anything they give it to you. Music, you can have a you can have a talent, you can be gifted, but if you don't know how to read, people will steal so much money from you. You know what I'm saying? Start from going to school, knowing how to present yourself. Um, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to respond to that question because it, it hurts, you know what I'm saying? It hurts to see people losing life every day, people dying left and right, kids, parents, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's sad, it's sad. A um, few, few months ago, I, um, I was trying to go to Goma, but unfortunately I was not able to get in from where I was, you know, to go to go see the, um, to go in Goma. But it's just too sad. I'm just, I'm pleading to our leaders, you know, please find
find a solution to this. Let's put end to this because it's enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? We have seen so much. We have we have lost so many lives. We have lost kids. We have lost families, and we just have to put end to this because it's, it's painful. It's painful and painful. We pray to God Almighty. He can give us a solution to this. You know. Okay. Um, my EP, we were talking about maybe five to four songs. Thank God, catch chanson. Um, we have done. Well, we we're almost done. We're almost done with the songs. We're almost done, and I hope soon. I don't know when it's going to be available in all platforms. But we'll let you guys know once we are ready. To launch, to launch our EP, we'll let you guys know. We have all kind of style of music. We have uh, everything. You guys are gonna, you know, going to hear more of me singing and few collaboration, like few um, featuring into the, the EP. So stay tuned and go follow me on all my platforms: Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. So once it's out, you'll be the first one to know. Thank you.